Hey guys, not even for further years, screw your book. And welcome oh. back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. So we didn't stream it this Saturday because problems. So we're gonna record the side stories. Yeah, big problems. Big problems, and then I don't know what's gonna happen. Wait, next. you see my screen, right? Yeah. Alright, so what do we do? We'll get out of there. Alright. Oh, oh. I know there's a secret song with that. Alright, side stories? Yeah. Oh god, which one do we do? Uh, we're gonna do part one of Trust. The side story is okay. Should we do right, the then. first story? Okay, it looks like it's Monica and Sayuri, which I'm Sayuri and I think you're Monica. No, Monica and Natsuki. Oh, is it Natsuki? Yeah, that's Natsuki. Is it? Yeah, with the pink hair. But she doesn't have a big bow tie. Well, well, why does she not? But Natsuki has pink hair though. Wait, Exile, we have a picture of them right in front of us. She has a yeah, bow tie. Oh. Yeah, Sayuri has a bow ties. Well, why is her hair pink? Beats me. What is this? Oh, okay, wait, you want to do trust or understanding? Um. Well, I forgot. You're, I'm Monica, Yuri, and that's it. And yourself. That's it. And yeah, and you are Sayori and Natsuki. Right? So well, yeah, whatever you pick, it's gonna be just you and me. But what's it's gonna be doing? even, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go again. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess we'll do understanding. Yep. Let's get that one out of the way. Yeah, because it's Yuri, so screw that. Oh, alright, ready? Yeah. I'm worried. What's gonna happen? I've never done this. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a we? white screen. Oh, well, hey, we're in class! Hey, well, here we go. The club meeting is suddenly interrupted by the sound of the door, causing Monica and Sari to turn their heads. Well, they died. Wait, so you're well, right. I... Wait, I thought it was Yuri and Sari. Hmm? Alright, let's see. The door opens halfway, then stops. A face peeks inside. A face that seems familiar. Oh, oh, what is the music? What is the music? You hear this? Yeah. What happened? I it's never the, heard this. It's the same song, but different it, instrument. I never heard this version. This sounds yeah. nice. All right. Well, I'm Yuri, right? So, dot dot dot. <laughs> dot, uh, dot dot dot. Yo, what is this music? Yo, crazy so, beats. This is pretty lit. Oh, it's a nice remix. All right. I'm Monica, so dot dot dot. Sari's eyes widen, recognizing the girl. <laughs> she very conspicuously mouths to Monica. Yo, I like this music. It's her. It's the girl. Is what? Is this like the first time Yuri ever came to school? I, I don't know. It's understanding. The lit, though. Oh. <sighs> you know, I uh, wish I had a drink. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The girl standing in the doorway is none other than the girl Sari had come across reading along in the classroom. Thanks to Monica leaving a flyer on her desk, it seems she found her way to the club. Dang. <laughs> Are you here for the literature club by any chance? Um, am I in the wrong place? No, you're not. This is a literature club. Please come inside. The girl fully steps in the door but continues standing against the wall, avoiding eye contact. Facts. Yeah, I would do the same. Sari continues to fail, containing her excitement. It's happening, oh my gosh. Is, is this like when Yuri joins the literature club? For the first time, by the looks of it, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's cool, that's nice. Thank you so much for coming. It's a little, sorry it's a little empty. Um, I'm Monica, and this is Sari, and we run the literature club. Even though it's just us so far, oh, but... Oh, so it's those two first. Natsuki? Yo, Yo, Natsuki no, joins Natsuki. later on? Wow. This is crazy. What's your oh uh, yeah? What's your name, by the way? Junior. Oh. I'd like to join the club. Already. Wait, really? Are you sure? I I mean I should be good enough. Ah, uh, everyone is welcome here. <laughs> you don't have to be good enough. Oh. <laughs> um. Do you want to have a seat? We'd love to get to know you. The girl nods, sliding over to a nearby desk and gently sitting down. Makes sense. So, what's your name? Oh, your name? Yo, uh, Andrew. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Yuri. No, yo, Yuri. The name of the movie is Yuri, guys. <laughs> I don't know you knew that. I'm Sayuri, and this is Monica. Hey, Sayuri, I already... Nice to meet you. Um, do you like fantasy? Aww. I like books that lead me away with the fantasy. 
Yo, I think we were supposed to do the uh, the one with Monica first, I think. By the way. I think we were yeah. supposed to do trust and then uh -oh. understand. Dot, dot, dot. Do you, uh, do you want to like get out no, of here? No, too or? late now. We committed. Oh, sorry, no, too late. we can leave. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, that four. Get out of here. Like, books? But no. <laughs> sorry, are you? Uh, what? Not, not, not. what do you mean fantasy? <laughs> He already looks like Monica. Fantasy is cool. Yes, have you heard of <laughs> Annabelle Dupont? Okay. Ah, uh, I can't say I have. Oh, well, she's my favorite author. I'm on her fifth book and it's just... Yuri grins and presses her knuckles against her cheeks in joy. Okay. Well, uh, you know, she really likes books. You can borrow my books, I wouldn't mind. You're really in for an incredible experience. Um... Monica Sammer is caught completely off guard by Yuri taking control of the conversation. She glances sideways at Yuri, silently asking for help. <laughs> uh, Makes sense. I love it. You're not reading those books, by the way. Yeah. Sounds you're really into them, so they, so they must be great. I am so happy I found this club. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I left all my other books in my locker. I should have brought them. Yuri quickly stands up. I'll be right back. I'll go get them for you. Dang. Ah, you probably only need to bring one for now. Sherry nervously says that. Nothing to herself, the considerable... Oh, noting to herself. The considerable heftiness of the book that Yuri set down on her desk, right? Yeah. But, true. Okay, I'll go get the first one then. The Yuri exits the closet. First Wait, what? one. Out of Yuri five. exits the club room in a flash, leaving Monica and Sherry silently exchanging glances. Oh my god, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh. Yep. How do I handle someone so intense? Yeah, Yuri, man. Uh, she is there. not intense, by the way. Well, I don't I know. know. We play as a guy, so I, it wouldn't make sense. She's not that intense. Right, I, oh, I have, like, no experience with fantasy, except maybe stuff that I read when I was a kid. But that's probably, like, a joke compared to what she's into. Dang. I mean, I played RL Craft, but I don't want to talk to her. Oh. I'm no. sure it'll be fine. No. no. Yuri is the type to read 800 page books of fantasy. Yeah. In fact, I think it's neat that we have different people who are into different kinds of literature. That is true. <laughs> she can't wait for you guys to meet Natsuki. She really likes uh, manga, which is also literature, by the way. It'll be fun to learn from each other. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't disagree, but what if this is her only interest? Doesn't it kind of seem like that? Monica, don't you think you should be more optimistic? Oh. <laughs> we need a new club member. There shouldn't be room for anything but being happy. That is facts. You are low on yeah. numbers. You need more bigger numbers. I'm excited to get to know her more, aren't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. Thank Sorry you. for being so hasty. I just got really anxious all of a sudden. Well, she's oh. gonna kill you guys anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Dang. It's because you're afraid of not being able to take the lead. Uh, what the heck? It's kind of scary how you can point out, point things out like that, Siri. I just like learning what pe makes people happy or sad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Kakui, welcome back yeah. to literature. Kakui and the literature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I can't wait to do that again. Hey, you know what? You'd probably be a great at helping Yuri feel comfortable here. Maybe you could take a break from helping me with the administrative stuff and just focus on spending time with her. Hey, froze. Uh oh. Hey, oh, really? that's exactly what I want to do. Besides. Very low is her voice. I, I'm probably gonna need all the time I can get. She taps her finger against the dauntingly chunky, chunky book Yuri left sitting on the desk. Right afterwards, the door opens to reveal Yuri's return. She's I'm gonna, back. She's gonna bring like a bunch of books. Her breath is slightly heavy, which combined with her short time gone indicates she may have ran at least part of the way. She makes her way back over to Yuri and sets the book down on her desk. Just as Sherry feared, the book Yuri brought her is just about equal size <laughs> in size to the one already on Yuri's desk. Uh, well, there are probably a few things you should know before getting started on it. 
there are some things that are more explained in other books that take place in the same universe. So going over those will be good to keep you from getting confused at the start. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, um, is exactly right. Sierra nervously interjects. Well, I was thinking that maybe today we could just get to know each other a little bit more. That is true. You can't just start reading a book together, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, like, if we're gonna be reading together, then I would like to, that... From across the room, Monica smiles and nods at Sherry while Yuri isn't looking. Oh. Okay. Yuri sits down, then looks at her book, then glances around the room, showing no indication that she has anything more to add. No. Oh. No. Oh. So, what made you decide you wanted to join the club? To read books. Well, I like reading, yeah. so I was immediately interested. <laughs> I, I mean, I, it's not that hard to realize, man. It's Yuri. I had no idea that someone was starting a literature club. But that's my fault, since I haven't been paying attention to any of the club recruitment advertisements. I only found out because she... Yuri glances over at Monica. Monica. Monica came into my classroom and put the flyer on my desk. Suddenly, Yuri's face darkens and she shakes her head at herself. I was so stupid, all. Oh. Um. <laughs> I got too nervous and couldn't even look up, so she just walked out. No, I mean, I would have done probably the same, man. If someone handed yeah. me a paper, I'd probably be like, nah, man. It took me several days just to come here because I was afraid that Monica told everyone how inconsiderate I was. <laughs> but I decided that was probably irrational. Wait. No, that was solely my fault. I felt so bad about interrupting you that I just like walked out. Oh. I was actually really hoping that you would come by. Yuri exhales in relief. I always seem to interpret things as the worst possible scenario. Well, I was really nervous to come here for some other reasons too. Uh, such as there being too many people. That is true. Yeah. Not that I mind that much, but I have a really hard time having to meet a large new number of new people at once. Yeah. To so just create your own right. club. Easy peasy, come on, man. Uh, so it's actually amazing that it's just the two of you. I definitely came at the right time. Aw, uh, that makes me happy. I'm proud of you for working up the courage to come. Yuri smiles warmly to herself. I never really had the privilege of sharing my interest with others before. It's so hard to find others who are into the same things I am. Except online. Duh. I mean, that's so facts. <laughs> so I thought the Lynch Club reminded me a chance to do that. What kinds of other things are you into? Knives. Nah, no, like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, yeah, man? No, not knives. <laughs> you're right. Scars? Oh, oh yeah, the scars, I think I got, oh. No, yeah, yeah, you already have scars in the house. <laughs> you like genres? I don't know, just anything, even if it's not literature. Oh, uh, okay. Those things you would think are dumb. Cherry pauses, I look at like concern on her face. How about, I'll tell you about something I'm into, and then you can tell me about something you're this into. This is kinda cringe. <laughs> so, I mean, this is how they first met, so what do you expect? What's gonna happen? Yeah, I guess, it will be cringe. I suppose that will be okay. It's not cringe, it's awkward. Okay. Well, I'm pretty into, I'm pretty into like crafty things. So like one minute no. crafts, no, or one minute noodles, oh. like making cute little co co colleges, no, collages, collages, <laughs> collages, or decorating uh, things. I was like colleges, yeah. no. Why would you be into little colleges, <laughs> the little people? <laughs> no, uh, collages, collages, or decorating things like cards or jewelry boxes. Uh, that's that's something I want to do in my to-do list. Have you ever built a card, a pyramid, a pyramid of cards? Mm, no. Nope. I want to try that. My room's always cluttered with random stuff because I keep buying things to make gifts for my friends, but then I put it off until like the last minute. <laughs> oh. So yeah, that's something kind of silly that I'm into. I mean, that's good. You sound quite creative. Nah, I'm not creative. I'm so rebel. Not that much. Oh. <laughs> it's, just, it's just that. You'll be surprised by how much you can do with scissors and glue and stuff. That is true. <laughs> when you so, oh wait what? I was wait. gonna say when you grow up, you go from from glue to duct tape. You can do so much with duct tape. Dang. So I had to share something that I'm into now, right? Sorry, not so. Um, 
Well, I guess I'm into nature. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Yeah, I like chopping down the trees to get pages to make more bull. Oh. I love nature. Nah. Monica, I'm gonna start a nature club. Alright, kid. No, you're not. You're stuck here with me now. No. Oh. I'm not. Oh, yeah? Actually, the music completely stopped. Really? Not me? For like a split second, I'm like, uh oh. Sir, you well, shouldn't have said that. I I hereby appoint you as vice president of the Lich Club. Oh! No. There, now you're stuck with me. Oh. Dang, hey, don't give me responsibilities. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. It's fine. Gary pauses, feeling awkward after having gotten cut off. I like going out into the woods, dog, <laughs> or to the park. Just places where you can walk or sit and not have any people around. Oh. It's peaceful. Just nice to kind of remove myself from everything that matters and let my racing mind operate autonomously. Auto <laughs> autonomously? Autonomously? Yeah. Nah. For a while. <laughs> Screw you. Oh. I mean, if you don't want people, just hang by your PC, download some Epic Games, Steam, and start playing Counter Strike or Rocket League, and boom, you have no one to deal with but yourself and everyone in the game because <laughs> everyone sucks. When do you like to do that? It just depends on my mood. Stop. After school, on the weekends, whenever I feel like I need it. Wow, I feel like I would never have the time to do something like that. Oh, Stop. I find that we have a lot more time than when we think we do. If you don't let it slip through your fingers. That is so true. The three continue their conversation, led primarily by Sari, but with Monica chiming in every now and then as well. Monica had intended to leave it to Sari and focus on her own work, but she found it difficult not to join in. Before they knew it, at the end of the day was upon them once more. Oh, it looks like we should be wrapping up for the day. Or for today. So, are you two going to be starting on that book the next club meeting? That's the plan. I'm so excited. Sari beams. Yuri collects her things. Once back, Yuri wordlessly waves to Sari and Monica with a gentle smile. Oh. Bye. Oh, as Yuri exits, Sari enthusiastically returns her farewell. Once again, Sari and Monica are left in the club room. Uh, Sari, you are a lifesaver. <laughs> I did... didn't do anything. I just talked. Still. Besides, oh. it really lifted my mood. Feels really nice when I can put my energy toward other people like that. She was really excited to be included, you know? It made me happy. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that she'll have a great time here with you engaging her. How are you feeling about starting the book with her next meeting? Not probably excited because it's a book. But well, I'm kind of uh oh. Ah, uh -oh. uh, uh, history read that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of scared, but I think she'll be happy as long as I'm trying my best. No, I think you do great. Uh, after the surprise of a new club member, it seems like everyone has their spirits lifted. There's something new to look forward to. Aww. You're gonna get a new club member very Aww, soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> when it, how long is this gonna last? Oh, okay. What? I guess we're gonna keep going. I thought it was gonna end. Yeah, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. How long is this gonna last? I don't know. We might just do one episode and that's it. Alright, another school day ends. Swallowing her anxiety, Yuri makes her way to the club room, expecting to be the last one to arrive. As she opens the door, she's surprised to find only Sari in the club room. No. Oh. Dang. It's club time again. Yo, imagine Natsuki joins in. Yo. <laughs> Monica went to the computer lab, so it's just us today. Is that okay? Nah. I mean, you're still gonna read a book. Facts. You're silently nods, unable to make eye contact. Nah. Nah, oh, here um, we go again. I'm sorry about yesterday. Nah. Hmm? Sari tilts her head, unsure of exactly what Yuri is talking about. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, the way I got overly excited to share my books and how you had to stop me so we could talk first. It was so inconsiderate of me. <laughs> Alright. I got too excited and forgot to think about everyone else in the club. So. Ah, blah, blah, ah. Yuri, you didn't do anything wrong. I, I think she did a lot of things wrong. I thought it was cute how excited you were. 
Oh. Da. Da da da. Well, still. I think I changed my mind about the book. We don't have to read it. Da. Da. No. As soon as you read the first page, you're you're gonna get hooked again. Huh? Why? Because I know that you were just humoring me, anyways. No. In retrospect, it's rather obvious that nobody was truly interested. No. I mean, that is so true, but... Yeah. If you like it so much, then it must be worth sharing. That is also no. true. No. Well, I've already decided I'll join the club. So you don't have to try so hard to entice me. That's not what I was doing. A moment of uncomfortable silence stretches between the two of them. Dang. I mean, it makes Don't sense. Don't you hate that awkward silence? Nah, I just, uh, do the Fortnite <laughs> Yeah, okay, why? Um, uh, well, the thing is, we don't even have any club activities yet. Not yet. I mean, Monica and I have just been working on recruitment stuff, mostly. Uh. So it just sounded like something fun that we could do together, reading your books. Yeah, that's true. Uh. But, I mean, not true. 800 page books? No. You know, right. like, as a club activity, that would be okay, right? Dot, dot, dot. That sounds like an assignment. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I being so resistant to this anyway? Dang. It's exactly what I wanted in the first place, and you're being so nice about it. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry for being like this. You don't have to apologize. Nah, I think you do. Aww. You. I mean, yeah, you're making someone read an 800 page book, at least, I'm assuming. It's one of those fat books, it'll be like a thousand. Just tell me if there's anything I could do to help you feel more comfortable here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, sorry, fools are that scum against Yuri's and sit next to her. The book in question is already on Yuri's desk. <laughs> Very over, you never read the cover of the book. No. Nah. I just realized. Yuri did the same thing to the main character. If you if you pick Yuri to read the poems and all that, oh, one yeah. of the cutscenes is her forcing you to read the book. Yeah, I remember. Yuri, that. you're selfish. Oh, no. She's forcing people to read books. Disgusting. Dusk Bell. No. I think this is a different book though. Part one of the Everlast Saga. Yeah, it probably is. I don't know if it's gonna be the same book. Aha, uh -huh, it's Dust Bell by Annabelle. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Oh, well, it froze. Oh, really? Sorry, I'm ready now, yeah. Oh, right, I should probably get some paper. Paper? Hmm? Why paper? Wow, what? <laughs> yes. Here he grabs um, a spiral notebook and of hers and throws out a fugitive paper. Yeah. Wait, I mean, how come you need paper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's useful to jot things out sometimes, like maps, timelines, family trees, or just taking... That's annotating the dumb <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> look, at look at her face. Ooh. Uh, 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 I mean, no, no, you should deny this, Sayuri. This is a big red flag that says no, no. Yeah. Hmm, yes, that's an effective strategy. No. <laughs> no. Exactly. I'm sure it would be especially helpful for someone new to the genre. Oh, Sayuri, you're literally in a tutoring class with a teacher right now. Dot dot dot. Yeah, Sarah's joke flew completely over Yuri's head. I'm thinking about it, she decides that it's probably for the best that it did. Well, I'm not used to having company do this, but I'll try to help make it as accessible as possible. I trust you. You're like super smart. Da. Oh, please. Yuri tries to dismiss the compliment, but she can't hide her smile and light blush. Da. You can't generalize intelligence. I'm only smart in the things I have a lot of experience with. Contrarily, I'm awful at anything involving real people. Oh, that should be evident enough from the two days I spent here so far. Makes so in my eyes, it's everyone else who comes off as smart. Well, especially you. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 
Such a sweetheart when you're not being shot. <laughs> okay. This is kind of suspect. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're. I would have. Well, we really confused. Yeah, I mean, like, freaked out. Anyway, would you like to get started? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and then it froze. Let's go. No. Okay. Oh, I just missed one. Oh. After the minor di diversion between them, the two get back on track with their planned club activity. Yuri begins to guide Siri through the basics of the fantasy the story takes place in. The more of it she details, the races, factions, history, <laughs> my god, oh. elements of magic, the more questions Siri seems to have. But despite Siri's expectations, Yuri eloquently guides her through it in a way such that it's fun to follow along. It's a teacher. No. Quite literally a teacher. <laughs> Yeah, it becomes evident that the world-building aspect of the story, not just the story itself, is one that Yuri finds her passion leaning towards. I don't, I don't, I see, I still stand by my quote that I said back a couple streams ago. I don't know when this is coming, this is coming out two days from today. But Yuri is a person I would never hang out with. If I knew she would make me read a book, annotate, she's just a nerd. Oh. Mm. How do people come up with this stuff? That's also a good question, Sayuri. I don't know how people come up with fantasy games. It's like the exact opposite of the kind of writing that I do. What kind of writing? Oh, like poetry and stuff like that. Mm. Uh oh. The things I write are just like putting down the feelings that come into my head, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but this is like, there must be so much planning and hard work. Ah, you're into poetry? I think there's an appendix that includes some of the kingdom's writing works, like poetry and folk songs. Duh. No, no way! Wow! Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri giggles. Feeling Sarah start with happiness, and when she realizes it's the first time she's heard Yuri laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it means Yuri must be having fun. Anyway, I think we can get started reading now if you're ready. Wait, you guys even read the book yet? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay, but I can't read very fast. That's also fast. Oh, that's fine. I'm very patient. Patience is something I pride myself in. Oh. <laughs> the patient's gonna really go thin. Hmm, <laughs> I see. Sari jots Yuri is patient into her notes. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I mean, it's hey, good notes. That's for the book. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm kidding. No. I'm kind of glad you're patient because I need that sometimes. A lot of times. Sari flips to the first few pages of the book, getting past the table of contents. I mean, that's all- I mean, no, that's not- would you skip the table of contents? I wouldn't. I wanna actually read the table of contents. Ah, uh, most of the time I skip them. Really? Yeah. I- I actually read the table of contents. I wanna know what it's gonna, like, kinda, like, mm -hmm. kinda get spoiled a little bit so that I know what's gonna happen, but I don't know how it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, chapter one. The room becomes silent as the two of them begin to read. But the silence only lasts for a moment before Sari speaks up again. What does vindicated mean? Yo, oh. villagers? Pillagers? Vindicated? <laughs> ah, well, in this context, it essentially means that he was proven innocent. Oh. It's okay to ask questions, right? Oh, do I have to raise my mm, hand? No. no <laughs> uh, of course. Sari turns the page. Are these footnotes? Nah, okay. A lot of the dialogue has cultural references that require explanation to be understood. Mmm. No, nah, okay. The two continue reading. <laughs> Yuri's relaxed expression remains unchanged. Meanwhile, Sari's expression grows tense as she tries to make her way through the dense text. Yep. Up until now, their expressions have been reversed, with Sari easily navigating social situations, and Yuri struggling in them. But the tables have turned. 
Wait, are they talking about the past right now or the present? Oh, uh, where? Right here. Oh, okay. They're talking about the past. These paragraphs are describing a flashback that Barnas is having. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who's Barnas? <laughs> but didn't. But they didn't tell me that. It's implied from the context. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sari rubs her temples. <laughs> I would do that too. The two of them continue, but Sari asking Peter questions. She begins to understand the value in the notes. <laughs> she finds herself referring to them somewhat often and even adding to them. But her reduction in questions comes from not from her reading or from her getting used to the reading, but rather from her fearing that she'll come across as stupid. Um, I mean, that is so true. Stupid. Um, okay, yeah, man. Uh, can you emphasize well, that a little bit more louder? <laughs> yeah. At last, Sarah reaches the end of the chapter. The chapter. I think we can stop here for now. Oh. Okay, how long was that chapter? <laughs> Sarah takes a deep breath and closes with what little of the book she has gotten through so far. Oh, oh no, that must be a 2,000 page book. <laughs> yeah, facts. Uh oh. So, what are your thoughts up to this point? Stop. <laughs> uh, uh, um, yeah. Sarah tries to find words. Am I doing well so far? No. Oh. <laughs> That's a good question. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. What the? What, what the? was that? What was that? You right clicked. I don't know. Oh, I right clicked? Oh. Yep. <laughs> When it takes me so long to read and understand things, it makes me feel really dumb. <laughs> I mean, dumb. yeah. But I really like how into it you get. Thanks. It makes me want to keep going and to keep doing my best, so I can see it the way that you do. Dot, dot, dot. The relaxation in Yuri's expression fades. I see. Yuri quietly gathers her things. Uh, can you continue tomorrow, right? No. Aw. I mean, yeah. Neri pauses and shakes her head. We can do something else tomorrow. No. Nah. Ah. <laughs> nah, but. I'm sorry. Wait, sorry for what? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, Just because you didn't, you didn't read her book. I'm sorry. Aw. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore, that's all. I'm sorry that I made you. What? I mean that. I mean. <laughs> Alright. That. 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 Alright, man. Hey, man. Yuri leaves. You done screwed up now, Sari. Bag. You weren't making me. Sari is left alone with her words. Oh, the oh, music the changed. Music. Oh no. What is this? No, nah, she's crying. <laughs> How did this happen? We were having fun just a second ago. It's my fault. I said something dumb and hurt her. Okay, kid. I see how it is. No. Why not? <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna end the video, guys. It's been thirty. Oh, yeah. I, I should have just told her that I enjoyed it. Monica, trust me with this. It's the only thing I'm good at, and I still messed it up. Ah, uh, no. She said no. <laughs> what if she doesn't want to come back? That pressure really hits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drowning guilt. Sari stares blankly at her desk, filled with notes. The book six next to them. I mean, now you have to read the thing. <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, now now you have to read, annotate, figure out what the heck is going on in this book, and finish it all before tomorrow. Oh. Come, come on, Sayuri. This is your assignment. That the the PhD. Dr. Yuri decided to give you on this book. Mm. Right. If she wasn't if she wasn't coming back, then she wouldn't have left the book here, right? No. Unless she just forgot to take it with her. That beats me, man. Ah, this is horrible. <laughs> I like her face. Yeah. Was it really because she thought I wasn't enjoying our time together? Or maybe she wasn't enjoying our time together because I'm not good enough. Aww. I probably let her down so much by having trouble following along. I mean, no, I don't think that was it. Yeah, uh, I'm sure if I was smarter that she would have be having so much more fun. No, I don't think that either. 
Oh, I need to do better for her. Nah, goodbye. <laughs> well, that oh, was that it. Is... What? what? What was that? Is the ending? What do you mean? That was garbage ending. I mean, there's a part two still. So. Wait, let's see. Side story. Oh, it, it froze. I, I like there is. Oh yeah, now there's understanding part two. Uh should we just do trust next then? We could finish understanding in the next video that we ever do uh Doki Doki we could do trust. So you wanna do part two? Might as well finish it, right? Right now, right? Yeah, because I think trust is how yeah. they started okay, the Wait, hold on. But I got new pictures and stuff. Should check is that this? at the end. Oh, is that the book? Fine. That's not that big of a book. Ah <laughs> I thought it was gonna be thick. You know, wait, what was the description on that one? Um, finish a side story of understanding one. Uh, All right. That, that didn't help. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what else is new? No, nah, there's nothing. Nothing. Yeah, oh, I think it, yeah. Music? Oh, is it the new ones now? Wait, where are they? Bah, is that going to tell me which ones are new? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, Dusk? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's one of them. And this is the other one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Well, here we go. Let's do the next side story, part two. Yes. Okay. I mean, that took that us took like, 30, like thirty-six 30 minutes. minutes. So this will take us like another thirty minutes, probably. Yep. So this should be like an hour, an hour video. That's yeah, fine. that's fine. But that. Right. <clears throat> Wait, what? But that's also gonna take me time to upload on Sunday. Oh well. Oh, for the first time, Sari is the first to enter the club room. Duh. Anxiety courses to her relentlessly. Will she already show up today? Sitting at a desk, she stamps her feet in an attempt to calm down. <laughs> Why am I letting this affect me so much? I'm doing everything I can to make Yuri happy. But my best wasn't good enough. No, okay. You didn't <laughs> you don't have to make everyone happy. But it was still my best. Yeah, G best. But I'm letting that everyone down. I'm always just a disappointment. Again, no. Sari continues to wrestle, wrestle with her self-deprecating thoughts. Every tiny noise causes her to lift her head in anticipation of years of arrival. Just suplex Yo, the dog. Oh. Facts. That happens to me too every time. No. Oh. No. Oh. I just, anyway, I just get a heart no, attack. No, no. Oh, okay. Minutes pass and nobody enters the club room. Oh, not Yuri or Monica. Oh. Okay, maybe there's no club today, you know. And she just forgot. <laughs> oh. She's Monica. Gosh, I'm so late. Why did I offer to help those other students with their work? I'm such a pushover sometimes. I mean, that's still a good thing, helping people. It's going to leave such a bad impression on new club members like Yuri if I'm not the first one there. Uh-oh. Well, she's not even there. Oh, uh -oh. Monica rounds the corner and approaches to the club room. As she does so. Yuri? Oh, Yuri's here. Oh, ah! Oh, here we go, man. Yuri jumps at the sound of Monica's voice. She's sitting outside the club room against the wall next to the door. Embarrassed, she quickly closes the book she was reading and stands up. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry I'm late. You didn't have to wait outside for me. The door to the club room is open. It's not... <laughs> Yuri stammers, unable to explain herself. She peers inside the club room throughout, uh, through the windows, then looks away. Stop. Actually, I was, just, I was wondering if I could help you today and said... Stop. Huh? Me? With club publicity stuff? Yes! <laughs> Monica is utterly confused. Why is Yuri asking this all of a sudden? When she was so eager to spend time with Sari before. Aww. Yeah. They did not get along at all. <laughs> Monica looks into the club room herself to see Sari sitting alone inside. Okay. It's kind of a simple job, but I'd be happy for you to tag along. Me too. Monica is worried, but she finds it difficult to insert herself into whatever conflict that may have arisen. There is no conflict. Oh, it's a little ironic, she realizes, that she could be so conflict- a conflict avoidant after having been in the debate club. Okay, let's take a walk together. I just have to make copies of this new flyer, then go around to the billboards and replace the old ones with the new ones. Stop. Gary nods, and the two set off. Is Monica gonna make Yuri go into the club room and put up a fire? I don't know, man. The two walk in silence. About Sari, Monica finds it quite difficult to strike up conversation. Stop. Makes sense. So, how's everything been going? Fine. <laughs> That's good. No, neither of them follow up with anything anymore. 
Monica turns it up at this little conversation. How the heck does Harry do it? Ah, sorry I didn't see you yesterday. I went straight to the computer lab to work on the flyers. Mm hmm. So Harry told me. What did you two end up doing yesterday? <laughs> Just some reading. Oh, I'm glad. It's really starting to feel like a literature club now. No. Yeah. It's kind of funny. I felt so intimidated at first when I heard about the kind of reading you're into. Well, you know, it's kind of stupid of me. Oh, uh, no. But I'm just intimidated by things I'm not good at. And it's silly to assume that everyone who comes to the club will just have the same interest as me. But it's so cool that you were able to get Sari into it. It's like the club is working. I'm really happy about that. I don't know about this, man. I don't know about that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh she's not into it. <laughs> huh? She's not into it, and I'm stupid for forcing her to her. Oh. Yuri falls silent again as she as if she started her thought but can't figure out how to continue it. Did something happen? Goodbye, music. Yeah. Yuri sighs. No, it's just me. I just. Oh, uh, Yuri pauses. Hmm. I'm thinking. Oh, it just went blank. <laughs> A moment passes in silence. Then Yuri shakes her head. I shouldn't make a funny to you all of a sudden. Don't be silly, I won't think you're complaining. I just want to make sure you feel welcome. If it's important to that, then you can tell me anything. That's a good club leader right there. Right. Well, I do feel welcome. Too welcome, I guess. It's not an issue with the club, it's just an issue with me. So I feel wrong to inconvenience you with it. No. Ah, Monica pauses and thinks. But, well, what do we put it this way? It's my job as president to understand the needs of the club members, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to have all kinds of people joining this club, hopefully, anyway. Yeah, like Junior and Natsuki. Oh. The fact, and Junior 31 to those. Oh. Uh, and Nightwing, poor pretty. Oh. No, oh, yeah, man. There we go. Two <laughs> Juniors and a Nightwing. And Natsuki. And learning about the diverse needs and interests of everyone will help me come up with the club activities that everyone can be happy with. Stop. Yep. I like your, I like this one-way conversation you're having here, Junior. I know, man. <laughs> that everyone can be happy with? Not just only some people. Of course. I just need to be looking out for everyone. Otherwise, what kind of club would it be? A reading I club. I see. That's what it means. Yeah. Uh, a writing club. Oh. Dang. Yuri looks a little more relaxed. It signals to Monica that switching from a sympathetic approach to a pragmatic one was a good choice. Each individual truly does have their own needs. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. Yuri takes a deep breath. Uh, 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 uh. That was a um, big breath. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a really weird and awkward person. I've accepted that about myself. I just don't know how to, I guess, connect with other people. Oh. Just but... talk to them. Oh, okay, it's not that easy. Or oh, you could just scream into a mic like, Hey guys, Nightwing for all. Oh. oh, yeah, that's connecting, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how is this so easy for everyone else? How do you just make a conversation about an arbitrary topic? I could talk for hours about the things I'm into. Unfortunately, so much that I don't know when to stop. But for anything else, I just have no idea what to say. That is true. Yo, fact. Yo, fact. So I understand that about myself. I'm just not good with people. I can't help it. So it feels like whenever I'm confronted with a new social, social situation, I'm either ignored or made fun of or taken paid on. Oh. Um. <laughs> and Sammy falls into that third category. Aw, oh, pity. <laughs> Dang. Hmm. She what? <laughs> Hold on. You're saying that Sari is taking pity on you? Yuri nods. I just want to be treated like a normal person. If you don't like me or don't connect with my interests, then just tell me. I can accept that and move on. I did, actually, but chat yelled at me for saying mean things to Yuri. Nah. It's like, it's true. I said it. Even Yuri's fine with it. I hate chat. Mm. Oh. Oh, Sari is too nice to me. I'm so stupid for not realizing that she would just go along with what I pushed onto her. Nobody deserves to put themselves through that kind of discomfort. Just because because they pity some weirdo who doesn't know how to make friends. Aww. Oh, that is sad, but... Yeah. 
It's the worst feeling. I hate it. Yuri's sharp words cut through the tense air. Somewhere in the middle of the conversation, the two stopped short in the hallway, prioritizing the conversation uh, over the original task. I mean, yeah. Uh, Monica looks at Yuri. Yuri only looks down with her fist clenched. Oh, she's about to beat up Zayuri. Oh. Nah, Monica. Oh, I think, I think you should tell her that. Oh. I can never say that to someone's face. It's pathetic. Sari is different. Making people happy is the most important thing to her. I'm sure that's all she's trying to do. So, if you're able to explain to her what makes you happy, then she'll do anything to make it happen. That's the problem. What kind of friendship has one person always trying to cater to the other person's weird needs? Oh. That is or true. cater, not cater. Oh. I mean, that's still true, though. Da, da, da. No, it's false. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, all right, man. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm making myself sound so... No, I think I'm starting to understand. Monica hesitates to finish her thought out loud. It's something that Sari would, e would be able to say better. Sari is someone who will give anyone however much kindness they need in order to smile. But Yuri, who has difficulty accepting kindness, must be driving Sari to be even more assertive in her kindness, further exer exerbitating the matter. What the heck? <laughs> Neither person is to blame, but it's an issue that can't be resolved without them understanding each other better. Oh. Yeah. Sari wants to be your friend. I promise that. It's okay for different people to have different needs. True. Oh. No, okay. <laughs> you okay, man? I mean, that's true. What do you want me to say, man? It is like, you're so quiet, isn't it? Like, true. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of far away from the mic. Nah, man. You know something. Oh, you're right, man. I'm trying to reach over and get some <laughs> I mean, orange juice. Uh, Sari, she has her own needs, too. Well, good friends work together and can be what they need for each other. Oh. What? what hey, I, I, my brain exploded. What did Monica just say? Don't worry about it. You just have good communication and talk about it. Oh, you just have to have good communication and talk about it. I just heard good things happen to good people to do good things. I'm like, huh? Wait, what? Yuri stops and shakes her head. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. My head is just, it's so resistant to everything. Um, I'm pushing such a kind person away from me because of it. Yuri pauses to think. I'm so tired of this cycle I'm creating for myself. I think I'm so afraid of people pushing me away that I just push them away first. Aw. Oh. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. How oh, thoughtless and immature of me. Aw. Oh. I mean, that's not an easy thing to break. Yuri takes a deep breath and exhales. I didn't mean for this to turn into a whole venting session. Aw. Oh. I mean, you need to talk to someone about that, though. Talking to someone about what you're dealing with is better than just having the feelings inside you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That is true. That's true. That is so true. So Nightwing, man, having some problems. Aw. You're having some problems, man? Don't worry, just left click. Easy peasy. Aw. <laughs> wow, I see how it is. Yeah, but, but I understand now that I just need to communicate with her. Ah, you're totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the club, remember? You're just helping to make the club a better place for everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Aww. No. <laughs> you're all silent again. She looks like she wants to say something. Ah, silence. This, this kind of critical thinking is something that I'm really bad at. You know, about people. So, thank you. Anytime. Monica smiles at Yuri. For just a moment, Yuri finds it in herself to meet Monica's gaze, returning a shy smile of her own. Aww, goodbye. But Is this gonna be the end? But what, no, because we still gotta see what happened to Sayuri. Oh, facts. That was a long conversation with myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know, it's gonna be like this. Yuri and Monica finish replacing the old flyers with the new ones. More accurately, Monica mostly did the work while Yuri followed along. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. But as the club room once again draws near, so does Yuri's confrontation. I can't do this. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. It'll be great. Yuri sighs and shakes her head. I'm never going to feel confident enough. I just have to do it. That is if so true. If I don't true. do it now, I never will. Oh. Facts. <laughs> yep. Yuri starts toward the door, but then turns to face Monica. You're not just going to wait outside, are you? Uh, I could take a walk. Oh, 
want me to get you a copy or something? Well, actually, I prefer tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I remember that. I like to make my own, though, so please don't worry about it. Although, I suppose that's the one downside of reading here in the club rather than at home. I don't get to drink tea while reading. Sorry, I guess that has nothing to do with this. Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, I bet we could get permission to keep stuff for tea in the club room. Yep. Now, you can use like an electric kettle to heat up water, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm over this. Would that really be possible? I'll look into it. I think it would be great. The answer is yes, by the way. We figured this yeah, out. Sorry, we played the game and we figured out yes, tea is possible. Next well, time. now we know. Yep. Yuri smiles and nods at the thought. Well, I'll be back in a bit. Good luck. Monica waves at Yuri, then turns around and departs down the hallway as Yuri's smile fades once more. Duh. A moment of daydreaming about tea isn't enough to save her from the anxiety <laughs> of the task that lies before her. But it must be done. Tea is disgusting, by the way. What happened? I said tea is disgusting, by the way. Aww, uh, yeah it is. Then gave one more deep breath. Yuri timidly opens the room door. Aww, uh, here we go, Yuri. Nah, no, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri? And that's it, and it cuts in. Alright guys, we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm not done yet. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Sari shuffles a bunch of papers around. Uh, um... Yuri stammers, her words suddenly caught in her throat. At that moment, she realizes how Sari has been spending her afternoon. I wasn't expecting you to come today. Were you reading the book? Yeah, probably. Oh. I was hoping to make it all the way through the next chapter first. Yep. Uh, yep. The second chapter. How big and fat is this book? Not that big as we saw. I don't think that's the book that she's making so you read. It has to be at least like 800 pages. And I don't think you can fit cram those pages to look like that. But I got most of the way through it. Mm. And look. Oh, it froze. Sari holds up a sheet of paper. It's a page of notes, beautifully produced with indentation, oh. category, <laughs> and even color coding. Disgusting. Uh, uh, as Yuri sees it, her expression shifts from anxiety to despair. Nah. Uh, oh, no. Nah. I wasn't afraid you were getting disappointed in me, so I've been trying really hard. Stop. Nah. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I will stop. Yuri presses her fist against her forehead. Uh, forehead. <laughs> okay, kid. Please stop. Oh, I can't take this. Uh oh. Nah. Yuri. Siri's voice quivers in shock after having received the exact opposite response she was expecting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. What? Yuri, are you, are you having an error inside you or something? Sari looks away in guilt. Oh. Did I do something wrong? I don't understand. So if I did something wrong, please tell me. Yuri shakes her head. No. It's me. I keep putting myself in these situations where people are afraid to treat me normally. If you don't like this kind of reading, it's okay. Please just tell me. Fact. Yo, I would have turned it down immediately yeah, right away. I'm not reading a thousand too, page book. Yeah. I don't need to be treated differently just because I'm weird. I mean, I would probably read a couple chapters, you know, actually see if the book is good, but if it doesn't really catch me in a couple pages, I'm not reading a thousand pages book, you know? Yeah. I don't think I will even read a thousand pages. The most I've ever read was probably less than a thousand. Uh, but I don't treat you differently. I just want my friends to be happy. That does oh. treat people differently. So I thought that if we did something together that you really like... Uh, goodbye music. Yeah. Oh, she's mad. I don't want your pity. No, 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 no. Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. No, Yuri sinks to her knees. Her voice squeaks. Oh, squeaker. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, Fortnite squeaker. Uh, I'm sorry. Tears of guilt and self-loathing begin to stream down her face. This isn't how it was supposed to go. Why is it so hard to just articulate your thoughts? Why do you end up pushing everyone away from you? 
Yuri is lying, found the internal ac accusations as she shut her eyes, unable to face Harry or the rest of the world. Dang. She should leave. Just escape from here before Monica sees her like this, and before Harry tells Monica what she did. Oh. But before Yuri can put any strength into her legs, she feels a warm pair of arms gently wrap around her from behind. Nah, okay, so that is oh, that the book. Right click that <laughs> book is not as thick as I thought. I was imagining it'd be like a couple inches. So like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, what? She's crying, she fell on the knees, you know. Okay, did you read your line? It's okay. Be quiet. I was, I was trying to look at the book. And you're, you know, it's just right. Do you see the book? Yeah, I do. It's not that big. It's not that big. Which I'm disappointed. The book should be at least a thousand pages. Oh. Sorry, whispers in a soothing voice. <laughs> it's okay. Nah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's okay. Overcome by despair, Yuri finds himself unable to protest or pull away from Sarah's kind gesture. Yuri sniffles, breathing heavily through a clenched throat, trying with all her willpower to control herself. <laughs> I understand. Squeaker. <laughs> 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 I understand that the things you're feeling in your head are different from the things you're trying to say. I know that must be what you're feeling right now. No. I promise I understand that. So I'll give you as much time as you need. When you're ready, just tell me your feelings and we'll talk about them together, okay? Yuri sniffles again and nods her head. I think Monica did a she better gives... job. <laughs> she gives herself a minute to compose her thoughts and speaks while studying her voice. No. I think, I think that I've gotten so used to people being weirded out by me that it feels like anyone who's nice to me is just doing it out of pity. I'm so horrible with people, so it makes me not want to believe that someone can actually like me for who I am. Now, Yuri pauses, but Sari doesn't interrupt. Rather, she waits for Yuri to continue. No. I got so excited when I joined the literature club. I thought that it was finally my chance to make friends to my interests. Because my interests are the only things that I know how to talk about. It's all I have going for me. But then, whenever I catch myself getting overly obsessive in front of other people, it feels like I'm making a fool of myself. I hate myself for it. Ultimately, I just want to be treated like a normal person. But how am I supposed to expect that when I can't behave like one? Uh, uh, what? I mean, liking books is not a bad thing, but I'm not interested. I know there's a lot of people who read books. Right. Right. But you, I wouldn't read a book. Maybe. Actually, no. That's a lie. I have read books. But, like, I'm not really interested in books. You know? Yeah. Just saying. Well, just saying. I just want to learn how to get along with people. And stop ruining things for myself. No. That's all. Yuri finishes her thoughts, feeling more steady after having gotten them out. Sari, who can feel Yuri's breath rise and fall from beneath her arms, realizes that as well. Thank you. Thank you for helping me understand you a little bit better. You know, you were so great at helping me while we were reading. So I'll help you with the things that you need help. You need to. But... No. Uh, I feel like it would just be frustrating for you with how much patience I require sometimes. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. That sounds kind of familiar. No. Nah. I couldn't stop worrying about that while we were reading. I was afraid you would get frustrated with me. But then you saw the patience. Oh. Uh, well, I would never do that. I did my best to reassure you by mentioning how I have a lot of patience. Yeah, I know, but my irrational fears just won't be quiet sometimes. That's also true. Oh. I'm sure it's the same for you, right? Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, irrational fears. How oh. would Monica react if she just walks in? Ah, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, there's no way that you could 
frustrate me because I already like you as the person that you are. What the heck? I know you said you have a hard time believing that, but I promise that it's true. Not that, that. You don't have to be a social person for people to like you. That's also true. Yeah. I think you're really considerate in your own way, you know? Worrying so much about people's feelings. Oh. We're all kind of weird. It's a literature club. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ish, that is true. It's a literature club. And you guys are not doing literature stuff yet. But it's the yeah. best part that we're all different and have different interests. Like... About the book. I'm reading it because I want to. I promise that's what I really want. It's a bit of a struggle, but try not to mistake that for me not enjoying it. I mean, we could never discover new things if we didn't try them first, right? Facts! So facts. I want to learn the reasons that you love it so much. And in the end, if it's not for me, then I can say that. But I'll be glad that I tried it and learned more about you. I guess facts. Plus, you're like super duper smart, and I want that to rub off on me. <laughs> Alright, so that's not how smartness works. Oh! He replies back as well at that comment. There's no chair behind that table. <laughs> Already. The heavy atmosphere surrounding her seems to have evaporated through the curious... Oh, Sari's arms. Do you see that? Wow. The hair is so pretty. Do you see that chair, that table behind them? Yeah. Doesn't have a chair. Like, oh. You see in the background, there's like desks and then there's chairs behind them. But then yeah. there's a desk and then desk. There's no chair behind that desk. Yeah. That's all weird. Oh. I always wanted long hair, but I was awful at taking care of it, so I cut it all off. Oh. Wait, you had long hair? Really? We gotta see that. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> really? Your mm. ascension relaxes. For once, she just feels okay just listening. Rather than worrying about so much about saying the right thing. <laughs> Sarah is sensing your discomfort, let's her rest. It must be so difficult for her to feel relaxed around other people. But if the literature club can make it happen, then it's something that she deserves to experience. Duh. So he had long hair. Is there like a picture of that? I wonder, yeah. Well then, and based on my understanding of your feelings. Oh. I suppose I wouldn't mind what? Chairs behind the desks now. Alright, screw you. If we were <laughs> to continue reading. <laughs> oh. That's what I wanted to hear. But we can stop at any time. If you truly don't like it, please be honest about it. I wouldn't be offended. I would. Of course. Nah. I'm not gonna judge anything this early on though. So we'll just see what happens. I think one chapter is enough to judge a book. Oh, and um, it's not good to judge people about the characters. <laughs> <laughs> that is also very true. Yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. Cause you suck, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Oh, you didn't. I mean, I suppose it was kind of nice. I was just saying. No, I'm back. <laughs> oh, good timing, man. Good timing. You could have. Monica's back. Yeah. I haven't seen you like at all recently. <laughs> Sorry, trust over to Monica. Huh? <laughs> all right, buddy. What happened, man? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly how it says. Uh, um, she whispers loudly. <clears throat> Can I hug you? Nope. Uh, I don't mean not to uh, go. Sure, Siri. Siri wraps her arms around Monica. Oh yeah, Yuri, it might be good to know. Siri can be kind of a hug monster. Ah. Nah. <laughs> hey, don't call me a monster. Yeah, it's already too late for that. What is that? Art Art Artemis? Artemis? Yeah. yeah, Artemis is a monster. If he inherits the kingdom, it could spell disaster. Okay, buddy. Uh, uh, here he laughs. Monica perplexedly looks between the two of them, then smiles. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your reading so far. 
Yes, we did a lot of reading, but I'm on yeah. go. It's like our first video activity as a literature club. Ah, uh, about that. Well, you've been so patient with explaining my interests. I think that it will be inconsiderate of me not to return your favor to you and learn about the things that you like. The yes. Do you like poetry? <laughs> Uh oh, uh, where everyone go? Yuri smiles. Nah. Uh, oh, that's it? That was it. What kind of ending is that? You like poetry? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Understandable. Hey, that took another 30 minutes. Yeah, but a little bit that more, I think. Wait, what's the time in the video? One hour and five minutes. Alright, let's check the new pictures. You probably got a new couple new ones. Yep. What is this? Finish the side story of understanding too? That's cool. That is a lot. Don't forget. There's a lot of things. That's yeah, funny. a lot of sticky notes. You are like, love. You, Wake you, up early. You're yes, just... I... Wait, why isn't Natsuki there? You didn't meet Natsuki yet. Yo, did they really play trash ball here? <laughs> okay. Trash it looks like Natsuki got... Natsuki just destroyed Sari here. <laughs> Where do you see that? My, my mouse cursor's over it. I don't see your mouse cursor. Uh, oh, I that's... see trash baskets. Yeah, oh my yeah, god, Natsuki! Not destroyed Sayuri! <laughs> 13 to 4, Sayuri, you kinda do. Why are you doing trash ball in the yeah. middle of class? Alright, buddy, we're done here. What's the other ones? This one I gotta be. Yeah, this one. Aww. Yeah. That's nice. Is that it? Yep, that's it. And music. Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah I think it's that, it's that one. one. Well, put your favorite song, and we're about to end this. Oh, uh, you can also put it on loop. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, facts. There you go. There we go. All right, let's go. Well, guys, this is your. Wait. Uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're fired. Uh, this oh. is your daily. Doki doki. Yo, it's not even daily. It's weekly. Usually we, we upload Doki Doki or stream on Saturday and then upload on Sunday. But we couldn't yeah. stream it this Sunday, Saturday, so we just We can't stream this one, yeah. Uh, Are we streaming it next week, or? I thought we were doing Pokemon. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, because then this comes out. This comes out before we stream Pokemon. On Sunday, right? Yeah, because this is coming out two days. Let's go. So, then we stream Pokemon, but we'll see fix. Anyways. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, leave a like, I say leave a dislike. Comment down below anything you want to tell us. Uh, the side stories do take an hour, so we can just do two at a time. The next side story will be out of order. We did this one instead of the other one. You yeah, trust. so now, now it's just trust, but it's fine. Yeah. Thanks. Understanding, now I know why it's called understanding. Understanding Yuri. <laughs> okay, but then what's trust? That's a good question I have to ask myself. Okay, so, and I guess, on our guys, I guess I'll see you in the video, in the next video, or the next episode, and or live stream. Bye, next. guys. Bye.